Hello YouTube, We're, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Daddy Joe, as everybody calls me, and I would like to show you something we came up with, my wife and I, some years back in order when we go fishing to hold our rod and reels to where we can both be comfortable and up out of the sand. Everybody has looked for fork and sticks and the perfect rock to lean it against. I'm going to show you a better way because everybody wants a lawn chair when they go fishing. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this video. And again, this is my very first one. So expect some, some flaws and I hope to get better. Thank you. What we have here is just a regular lawn chair that I bought some years back. But I have made it to hold my fishing poles for me when I'm sitting down, be it on the bank of the river or next to the pond. Or it works really well if we have our grandchildren with us because we can put their fishing poles in here and they can have a chair to set in while we're waiting on that biggest fish ever caught by our kids. But as you can see, it's convenient. You can sit down, enjoy your coffee, relax, and wait for the fish to bite. If the fish does bite, the pole comes right up out of here and you're ready to fish. You can drag some pretty good sized fish in. It also keeps your reels up out of the sand, and it keeps your poles to where they are both maintained and, and accounted for. And also, when you're ready to leave, you can leave your poles in, simply fold the chair up, and now you can use this to carry your rod and reels, and you're ready to go home. It works really well. We've used this particular chair for over 20 years, and I really think uh, just a little bit of time with a drill and some simple tools, you're going to enjoy this. And again, when you get back to where you want to go fishing, simply set the chair out, and now you're fishing. It also allows you to keep your hooks up to where children can't walk into them and possibly hook them in the eye. It's always a good idea to keep your hooks to where they're absolutely controlled so no one gets hurt. And this is how we built it. <laughs> Obviously, uh, your chair may vary from mine, so the dimensions may change a little bit, but I will show you how to account for that. <clears throat> Firstly, as I said, I'm going to bring this up to where you can see it real well. It's just simply PVC attached to the lawn chair, but done in a way to where it can fold up you can still use this for any function you want to. It doesn't have to be fishing, but it is a nice way, again, to be able to control everything when you are fishing, okay? So, I'm going to leave the chair right here. I've already taken this one off to give the demonstration. This is really simple to do, and like I said, minimum amount of tools. The first thing you're going to need a piece of inch and a half PVC. You can get this at any box store, probably the same place you're going to buy your chair from. <coughs> now, I've cut this to a 20 inch length and I have drilled this hole in the bottom for the bottom leg at one inch. So this hole is a one inch distance from the end of the pipe and an eighth inch diameter drill bit. I waited to drill this top hole and I'm going to show you why. First I put the bottom one in where I needed it to be. Let me find where I set those screws at, right here. So this dimension off of the floor for the bottom hole is about eight and a half inches, okay? Now you can select which angle you choose to put this on that may better suit your chair, but always do your bottom one first because this is how we're going to make it hinge. So I drill the hole all the way through the leg. And again, this is an eighth inch diameter hole, and I also have an eighth inch bolt two inches long to accommodate this. 
So after you drill your hole, thread that through. And for right now, we're not going to bolt anything together. We're just going to put this bottom, bottom hole onto our bolt. So now we can figure out where we want to place the top half. And also, <clears throat> the right height. You may want yours down a little farther or up. If you want it up more, you're going to have to make your pipe a little longer. But that's no problem. Now, as you can see, I have that to where it can move. Now, at this point, I'm going to take my pencil, and I am going to mark where I see the center of this rail at, of the lawn chair. Let me back up so you can see a little better. The center of the rail, and I'm going to draw me a line on my pipe, and that's going to be my first hole. I want to make sure I have enough distance stuck out past the edge of the the uh, chair pole here in order to make my uh, plastic work along with it and be able to fold up. Okay? So now that I have my pencil mark, the first thing I am going to do is take a quarter inch drill bit and drill right in the center of that pipe. That makes, <clears throat> and also all PVC has a center line on them. So if you're keeping this square, I hope you can see that on the camera, but there's a blue line, sometimes it's black, sometimes it's red, but it will mark the center line of PVC pipe button at the box door. But if not, do your best to eyeball it, center it up. Now my, this was my first hole, and I drilled that a quarter of an inch with a quarter inch drill bit, and then I drilled another hole directly to it through and I drilled another one and then I just simply took my hacksaw and filed this groove in there. Now I made my groove a little bit too long just to make sure I had enough room and I can actually use this for two different types of chairs we have. But <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that this gap is about 3 16ths wide. That way my 1 8 inch screw when I slide it through we'll be able to slide like this. And this is what makes us be able to fit this onto the chair and still fold the chair up. If you do not put the slot in there, your chair will not fold up. It'll just simply uh, lock it into place. So we need to make this hinge in order for it to work properly. Once you get that, and be very careful, once you get that cut out, the next thing we're going to do is We will take our bottom bolt, and I actually use several um, lock, locking nuts on these in order to keep them in position for me. But on this bottom bolt, instead of just threading, instead of just threading your pipe through, it's a good idea so you can you can actually thread this locking nut on here, and it is an eighth inch locking nut. It has a lock washer on it. Don't use the plastic type and I'll tell you why in a second. You're going to need the room in order for your rod handle to slide down into the plastic PVC and if you put a locking nut up on here it's going to be too thick and won't allow the, the butt of the pole to slide down. Okay? So, <clears throat> thread your lock nut on there. Then take our two inch long by eighth inch bolt, slide it through our bottom hole, and then thread another lock nut right on top of that. And by doing so, what you're doing is you're actually making this a, a solid point to hook your pipe to. Now all this does not, uh, just a little bit more than hand tight. That way you can move things around and if you need to, you can make adjustments on it. Actually, I threaded that one on backwards. Let me try that again. And as I said, now all this, until you get everything where you want it, don't really over tighten anything because this aluminum on these chairs 
can be crushed if you over tighten these jam nuts. And I'm threading that down on there. Like I said, I'm just going to get it down there to where it's good and snug. And that's more than fine. That's all I need to do. Now, I'm going to slide one washer around here. And this is an eighth inch washer. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's an eighth inch diameter washer uh, in the center. And it's a half inch washer overall width. Now that that's on, we're going to go back to our very bottom hole. We did not have to slot that hole. We want it just simply to be a hinge, and we will place that on our bolt here. Okay, now we have that. Now, I am going to take another washer. This is simply a flat washer, and I'm going to slide that over this bolt. And now I'm going to put a nut on that. And that will put this in place for us. And again, I'm just going hand tight. If you need to tighten it a little more after you've used it a little bit, then that won't be a problem. All right, so that has our bottom. And as I said, we made this top. At such an angle, when we cut this, this bolt will be able to travel along that slot that is cut in this PVC right here. And that's what allows this chair to fold up. If you only drill a single hole, the chair won't fold up. Okay? So now we're going to put our top bolt in, which is right here. Now, on this bolt, I go through the slot with the bolt head inside the plastic PVC. We want that to be right here inside this pipe. The reason we do not want that sticking out to be gouging our legs as we set, set down in the chair. Get everything lined up. I should have my glasses on, but I don't. I'd have to put them on. Ooh, had it, lost it. Okay, here comes the glasses, guys. Got to be able to see. Find these little guys. Okay, so now as you can see, the head of the bolt with a washer on it is through here. This is where uh, the it's coming through the chair at. And actually, let me back up. We're going to put a jam nut on the front side of that first. So in between. the bolt and the chair arm as it comes through the plastic. That way we can tighten this up and still allow. Okay, so that nut will go on here first. And again, don't over tighten it. Just tighten it up enough to where you can get it in there and it stays kind of close for you. Just like that. Okay, now that way as it's tightened up, this allows this bolt to slide back and forth in our groove and our plastic. Now we get to try to fish this back through this hole again. Oh, look at there, I got it. Straight out of the box. Okay. We will take another nut and thread it along this. Now at this point, you can see there's a small amount of the nut or the bolt still sticking through the nut. What I want to do is back this off 
just enough to where it can slide through this plastic. And the reason being, you don't want it too tight so it can move a little bit. And get that back just enough to where you can't cut your leg on it. <clears throat> Children can't grab a finger on it. You don't want that. Okay. So now, I have a nut here. I have a nut here. Bolt with my washer inside the plastic PVC. Okay. Now, that's all it takes. This thing's ready to fish. <coughs> For safety, once you get everything lined up to where you like it, you can take silicone and cover this entire nut with silicone, and that will protect you from scratching or tearing your clothes or anything like that if there's any sharp edges on there. Okay? It's just that simple. Now you can walk out, fold out your chair, Put a couple of poles in the water. Ask one of the grandkids to bring you a cup of coffee. Life is good. Can't get any better than that. <clears throat> like I said, now if you're sleeping in your chair and your rod starts going like this, it will wake you up because the whole chair is moving. It's just a really great idea, guys. And <clears throat> simple. The whole thing can't cost you more than $30 if you had to buy everything new. I would be surprised if it's over $20. Uh, Menards, Lowell's, Walmart, they will have the chairs. Uh, Menards and Lowell's will have the PVC for you. Like I said, now I'm ready to go and catch fish or if I want to leave these in and carry everything to the truck, then you can just simply fold it up and it's ready to go. Just like that. You can carry it this way. Your rods are dealt with. You can slide it right in the back of your car, back of your truck. Doesn't matter if you're fish, fishing on the beach. Doesn't matter how, how you use it. And again, if you don't want to do your, if you're not fishing, then you can still use your lawn chair. They just come out of there just that simple. Okay? Now, you can also take on these back bolts what we normally do if we're going to do a lot of uh, fishing on the banks down there on, on the uh, islands with sand is I will tie a heavy 100 pound test or better string here on this bolt and then a tent stake and about 18 inches long and you can take that tent stake and stick it down in behind the lawn chair in the sand or mud and it will actually support that because if you get out of this chair and you have your rod and reels out, I have chased one of these down the riverbank before. Uh, we fish for big catfish, so, you know, the fish are probably 45 pounds bigger than the chair, and they will drag them in the water, rod and all. You don't want to lose your uh, rod and reel, trust me. So again, you can take just off that back bolt and a nice 18, 20 inch piece of string, to a tent stake and tie that down and push it down in there with your feet and that will stabilize your chair should you get out of it the fish ain't going to run off with it fish don't need to sit down anyway all right now <clears throat> like i said you can use this for your grandchildren works really good for snoopy bowls really good because they can sit there and fish and have a good time and hopefully, again, always keep your hooks put up, but hopefully they have fun and, and not stick a hook in their fingers or something because we all know that that's, that's very possible with children. All right. I'm going to show you a list of materials and just a brief diagram how I actually done this. I hope you can see that. Try to get it in the light. But the inch and a half by two inch sorry, inch and a half by 20 inch PVC. You will need two pieces of those for one chair. The eighth inch by two inch metal screws, you will need four of those to make <clears throat> for one chair to put it on the, the uh, legs of the chair. Eighth inch by half inch washers, you'll need eight of those. Eighth inch with washer nuts, and I call those little lock nuts. 
Now again, these are not the plastic coated nut. It has a little bitty star washer on the back side of it. And that will uh, work its way to the aluminum as well as the plastic and hold better. But yet it's thin enough to where it doesn't uh, make the hole any smaller on your inch and a half in order for your rods to slide down in them. So <clears throat> this is an eighth inch nut to fit our eighth inch bolt. And you will need eight of those. You're going to need an eight, in eighth inch drill bit in order to drill the hole through the plastic as well as the aluminum chair. You will also need a quarter inch or bigger drill bit. Don't go much more than a quarter of an inch. So a quarter of an inch drill bit in order to start that first hole in the upper part of the leg to make the hinge where it'll slide for you. And then again, center that up, mark it, drill that first, and drill a little bit ahead of it and a little bit behind it. Put it on your chair and try to fold it up. If it folds up fine, you don't have to go any farther. Make the adjustments as you need them. Okay, and we came nine inches off the bottom with our first eighth inch hole in the lawn chair. And then this, again, you will set to however high you can get it and your chair still fold up for you. So, and then that was an eighth inch hole drilled in as well. I hope this video has been good for you. And surely everybody needs a good fishing chair. It makes a great Father's Day present. So anybody that gets one, I guarantee you'll use it because I love mine. Again, this is an introduction to our YouTube channel, Ask Daddy Joe. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And hopefully we'll bring you a lot more things to come in the future. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on, so we're busy, but... We, we're, going to, we're going to try this to see if we can actually help make the world better. Thank you.